Hey guys, it's John. In this video, I'm going to be talking about crafting foods. You can use crafting foods to increase your minimum item level for, uh, was it the minimum and also maximum item level for crafting? Okay, check it out. Increases your minimum gear score when crafting engineering items by 10. Increases your maximum gear score when crafting engineering items by 10. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can get these at the market. You can make them yourself just over here on the consumables tab. Uh, you click on consumables, just go to trade skill bonus foods. They have foods for pretty much everything. Uh, obviously, like the mining look and all that. But the ones I'm talking about in particular, the crafting ones, Arcana, jewel crafting, armory, weaponsmithing, all that. So these particular uh, foods, some of them are drinks, some of them are actual foods you eat. Uh, they'll increase the minimum gear score when crafting and also the maximum gear score by 10 which is pretty much the equivalent of using like a rare piece of ore or whatever to increase the uh the minimum gear score of the item um i think this is really good for making like weapons armor uh mining tools stuff like that it's not so good for like bags for example watch i'll show you so like bags, for example, so see, look, we got one here. This is the standard gear score for like the tier four bags. It's 400 gear score. It has 225 encumbrance. So then if we were to juice up the bag, get it up like 10 or 20 gear score. So look at this one's 422. It's only 233 encumbrance. So you're only getting like, what is that? Like eight encumbrance? Yeah, you're only getting eight encumbrance for like a 20 or more gear score increase. So I feel like for bags, it's not really that worth it. Um, but for example, let's go look at tools. So for tools, for example, I feel like it's really fucking worth it or even weapons or armor, obviously, because you want more damage, you want more armor. So like tools, the standard base, like star metal pickaxe, it's tier four pickaxe, 400 gathering speed, 400 gear score. So then we look up here, if we were to juice out a pickaxe, look at that. This is a 421. You're already getting 421 gear score. You're getting 432 uh, percent gathering speed so it's a 30 percent increase for 20 more gear score and then look at this guy's up here 445 gear score 468 that is a fat increase so i feel like for tools weapons and armor it is definitely worth juicing out the crafting you know taking the drinks uh also there's jewelry too i'll show you that right now but uh there's jewelry too you can increase the crafting uh minimum and max i think it's just minimum gear score for the jewelry uh for items and stuff like that like i said for bags i really don't feel like it's worth it um but for tools weapons and armor it is definitely worth it so you can actually come up here in the uh up in the trading post you can search for specific perks so let's see so yeah you can look right here like arcanist for example there's this arcanist expertise arcanist mastery you want the mastery one because it gives plus five Make sure you're in the right category. I was looking at the wrong category. Make sure you selected everything so you can look at all the gear. So yeah, so check this out. We have this armoring mastery plus five minimum quality to the armoring. I think this is only on jewelry, this armory mastery. I haven't seen it on gear. I know for some of the other ones, like check this out. Okay, so here's another one. Like, this one's called Accumulation. So in this case, it's Leatherworking Accumulation. This one, I believe... Oh, these are like the Tanner gear. Yeah, so you get more yield when Leatherworking. You get a higher yield of leather. Or the Processing uh, Skill Trees, or the Processing Skills. 2% yield. It looks like this one is only for armor. I don't see it on... On any jewelry so these processing ones looks like it's just armor kind of like the mining luck one uh, although I know you can get the mining luck on jewelry too so yeah this is another way that you could juice out your crafting by getting these uh, earrings like I said I think it's just earrings that have this mastery like arcanist mastery or armor mastery or whatever but maybe there's other pieces of gear that we just don't know um, but yeah check it out uh, this gear is really cool oh one of the things too for the drinks, all those, all the trade skill foods, like they're pretty fucking cheap. Um, yeah, they're not too cheap. It's usually like five, ten gold or something like that. I think it's worth it for making the higher tier stuff because it's like you just buy one and it's good for thirty minutes. So definitely, you could get a lot of crafting done in thirty minutes. And the prices of the stuff's actually gone up a lot. So hey. If you're trying to make some money, it actually probably be worth 
uh, selling these drinks. But yeah, that's it, guys. Pretty much just drinks or the trade skill bonus food. Uh, jewelry, too, has a trade skill bonus. Uh, and then also armor for, like, processing. Uh, increased processing yields for, like, cloth, leather, and all that. But check them out. It's pretty cool. Nice way to boost up your crafting uh, eye levels and all that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks guys for watching. Hopefully it helps you out. See ya.